Hello everyone, and welcome back. Okay, so. Unless you guys have something else that you want to do, I guess you're just gonna eat, go to sleep, do whatever. Yep. Pretty much. Um, yep. Cool. You know what you must do, Luca. Yes. What? So. <laughs> what? I need a I need a wisdom saving throw from Aya <clears throat> and from the rest of you. Like, how are you splitting these rooms amongst yourselves? Um, I guess that depends on the layout. I don't mind well, sharing. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Two there, people there's... have to share. Yeah, there's me, one. Me, me, me and Visha. probably keep V away from the shard. So Aya sleeps on the exact opposite side as the one that has. Okay. Um, and then, probably... what, me and V share? I don't mind. Uh, wait. Does that leave me with my own room? Yeah. Yes. Uh oh. Um, unless you want to share a room with Dragon Waifu. <laughs> oh, I'm fine either way. Guys, so, so what, we'll have Von Dahl V take the double room, you two can have single rooms. Oh. Nice. Okay. okay. I'm taking yeah, well, the, since no one's objecting. We're... What you do with the rest of your evening is entirely up to you guys. Um, if there's anything you kind of want to roleplay out, then we can do, but... I'm, I'm going to write in my journal. Because <laughs> I realise I haven't done that in ages. Cool. Um, yeah, I guess I might make another music box. Cool. Just because I can. <laughs> yeah, you spend time doing that. Um, yeah, basically, you all go to sleep, I, you meditate. Um, <coughs> your, your meditation is basically just disturbed for, for the entire time. Because every time you feel like you're getting into the meditative state, you just feel like somebody's watching you. Uh. And it's... It's so... You you just can't shake this feeling of being watched that you just sort of have to just... You're desperately just trying to deal with it, but it's just... It's the most off-putting thing in the world. So you actually... You end, you end up meditating for like... In, instead of the four hours you normally meditate, you meditate sort of like on and off for like eight hours, and you just... You feel like you've just slept on and off, and it's it's horrible. Lovely. Yeah. So you're going to be grumpier than normal in the morning. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, and basically as as morning comes, um basically the um the the same servant girl that came around and showed you the rooms and stuff last time uh comes to greet you and says um uh uh, the master sent me to to uh, ensure that you um, you have the things you need to uh, to continue on on your journey, um, and uh, he wished me to remind you that uh, <coughs> the the sooner you set off, the the sooner your business can be concluded. Very well. Um. Yes. We'll do, we'll just. Anybody want to do anything? In the fortress, I guess we're just on our way. Get get breakfast, basically. Yeah, get some breakfast. Pretty much. Yeah. So yeah, you you guys basically just you get something to eat. Uh, it's nothing special, but you get it's something true. in you that isn't sort of cold food, and you get going. Um. Yeah, basically, you you are you're led all the way sort of back down the the thing to the ground. Tier. Uh, but this time you leave through the other gate, which is headed back towards the mountains. Um, and basically, like, sort of, as the sun is sort of coming up over the hills, you guys can see in the distance that actually you can see the. Um, you can see the basically like the t the tallest spire of Argentalrind like really prominently. But you are also starting to, as you walk closer, you're starting to see the other spires sort of like emerging over the tops of the trees. And you are almost there. <clears throat> mm. Woo! Shoop. Yeah. So yeah, uh, you guys are basically on the other side of Stormsea. Can we see the mountains from here? Uh, yes, you've been able to see the mountains oh. for a little while. Yeah. Okay. Double track. Mm. 
all that music. I guess we only need to travel five miles to get there. Uh, yeah, you, you basically, like, if you if you push yourselves, you guys will end up at Argentolerand by the end of the day. Hmm. Should we do that, then? Um, we might as well go it. for it. Yeah. It's... Cool. That's fine with me. Or actually, do we want to... Do we want to take Crystal into the big city? Although, I guess it wasn't... A we have to. I mean, that, that, that's why we've been on this long journey. <laughs> Bill yeah, like... back now! I, yeah, I, I was more thinking along the lines of do we want to walk around in the city whilst we're holding it, or do we want to well, like, store it? Well, I guess it? what we do is we get, we rest off at an, at, an, at an inn, and then we go off, drop off the letter, and talk to and find what, someone who could tell us more about it, and or get rid of it. Okay, but it, it, it was just the risks of having the, the thing on us that was, I was thinking about, but sure. I mean, if you want to, like, get in... Like by the end of the day, and instantly go and try and find someone to drop it off with, then go for it. I wouldn't actually exactly trust someone else with it, so well, yeah, well, no. I guess we might as well carry it along. Very well, let's let's move. Let's move. Woo! Although I guess we're basically. St <laughs> I rolled the wrong dice. That's why that doesn't add up. Oh, uh, Rob. Well. Okay. Camping. Uh, cool, yeah. Um, basically, as you guys are almost to the city, roll me perception checks. Um, I get, uh, everyone except V, I think. Okay. <laughs> Your perception yeah, is look so at these good natural 20s roll. on the side, just taunting yeah. you. <laughs> and then the 10s next to them. Yup. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Boost perception. Classic. So. Yep. Uh, uh. V, you, you and uh, yeah, you and Kalaris, I reckon. Uh, off to one side of the road. Um, you basically notice that there, there is what looks like um, uh, basically uh, the. The corpse of basically like an elk uh, mm. that has basically been strung up from a tree. Mm. It's Come a on. it's basically like a short distance off the path. Um, is that norm? That's probably not normal. <laughs> I mean, it's not unusual to see remains of hunting being left behind. Yeah, it's a it's a dead animal tree? strung from a tree. It's uh, that's a bit weird. If it was just on the ground, it wouldn't be as yeah. weird. I guess we uh, should go take a look at it. You're not. You haven't seen it. Oh, you're too. You're too busy <laughs> navigating. I'm sulking. Yeah, you were just being grumpy. Yeah. Um, actually, I'd probably point to to Arya because knowing that she kind of knows the area somewhat. Sort of, kind of. And I mean, V's also seen it, so... I'm just like, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'll be like... I'll point it out to Arya, kind of be like, is that? That's not normal, is it? Nope. No, not, not at really. all. <laughs> <laughs> Look here. <laughs> um, I mean, should we check it out? Should we just let it be? Whoa. I'll point out is to Grim and Gondol as well because they're in this. I know, is it of any concern really? It's. Well, yeah, it's, it's weird, but. You know, how, how far away from the path is it? Like. How many feet? Uh, maybe 120. Mm. Okay, so it's, it's quite a ways off, actually. It would take you under a minute to walk there. I know, but you know what? We'll just we we might as well have a look if you if you guys are unsure. Okay. Yeah. 
All right. True. What's the worst that could happen, right? Well, why words. would you say that? Yeah, <laughs> ne <laughs> never say that. I always say it. You idiot. Cool. Uh, yeah, you guys basically walk up to the side of the road. Um, these are the wrong type of trees, but sure. Oh. It'll, it'll do. It's trees. Uh, yeah, you, you walk a short distance off the side of the path. Um, do you just walk like straight up to it? Yes. <clears throat> yeah, yeah I'd, I'd sort of like to look at like what it was killed by, I guess, or okay. how it but died. I guess since it's like hung up, I does it, does it seem like it was uh, like one of those snare traps, like the you sometimes see. Who's who's taking the lead on this? Uh, I guess me. I am the ranger. Okay. Uh, I need to check something. Karaktoshi. It's gonna be a trap, Rip. <laughs> yep. Um, roll me a perception check. Oh, yeah, yeah, Thanks. Okay, you immediately notice that basically underneath this thing, uh, the ground is is disturbed in a way that you... Uh, something isn't right about this. It, there's something definitely odd about the surrounding area. This is before you're sort of up close to it. You're like maybe 20 feet away from it. Uh, how's Lyra reacting? Uh, she's sort of just... She's sniffing the air, but she doesn't seem to have detected anything amiss. Hmm. I guess we just keep going. Okay. You continue to walk towards it. Uh, I need you to roll me a dexterity saving throw. Uh, as or... you, uh, no, are you? As you basically walk headfirst into a pit trap. Oh <laughs> shit! Um, uh, can I reaction fall it? Sure. Yay! Yay! Right, we got to use that featherfall. <laughs> and well done. Oh, no! Cool. See what I mean about the reckless head first, are you? <laughs> I was not being reckless! I rolled a 23 on that perception check! Yeah, but basically... And then you walk straight into the un unusual terrain anyway. <laughs> are we sure that's not reckless? He does have a point this time. Oh. Yeah. Fair, nobody mentioned anything. <laughs> Well, Ari is the only one that saw that. As, 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 as you walk there. forward, you feel basically like a, a cut branch splinter under your feet and basically like the the covering of earth and branches that has been placed over this pit trap snaps. V, fortunately, with lightning fast reactions, casts Featherfall and stops you basically falling onto what are essentially wooden stakes underneath the... Uh, ah. uh, the it, it's basically like a... Maybe like a five or six foot deep pit and you sort of like you float down on like in amongst these things rather than falling directly on top of it um yeah uh, the moment the moment this happens you sort of curse yourself because this is a this is a a, a, a standard fairly obvious hunter trap for dealing with things what? like bears before you all give me shit, I rolled a goddamn 23 on that perception But you didn't check. do anything you with did, it! You didn't yeah, investigate you did, you did nothing with it! You can go fuck yourselves! Don't like, you know, don't like investigate the, the ground, don't kind of try and dis find some way to disarm a potential trap, just walk straight into it! Anyway, if he's gonna sort of run over and be like, is everything okay? Does anyone have any rope? I mean... We have I mean, like <laughs> we have all the fucking rope. <laughs> exactly. I mean, yep. if, if Kalaris were to lean down, you could pull Aya out of the pit without needing to faff around with the rope. Oh, it's I'll not hugely deep. I will do that then, without falling in, please. Yeah. 
Make make me athletics, both of you. Oh lord. <laughs> Ari is so pissed off right now. Just look, you had a bad night. It's not your day. No, you have nice. Oh wow. Nice. Thank God for in, in, in in a display of rippling muscles, you just sort of like <laughs> up. Quick, you both <laughs> you grab each other's forearm and just sort of like pull. Oh God, this is really erotic all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Can, can we just can we just oh. ignore that in favor for paying attention to the fact that Grim has anime eyes again? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I always have anime eyes when I'm around Polaris. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <sighs> it's just this, just um, this, just ex adds the extra sparkle, you know. Oh God! Wow. <laughs> um, as as Clarice pulls Ari up, she'll probably be like, "Um, you're right." I'm fine. That's what I asked too, but she didn't say anything. So I guess she's just oh, ignoring me. I didn't. I actually didn't hear you, so I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry. I okay, Arya. I see how it is. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I was too busy cursing herself for fa for falling for a really simple yeah. trap that she should have seen coming a mile off. You know what? Fuck you. Is the is the meat still fresh on the oh the deer? Not particularly. Then I will ignore it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <sighs> That's all there is to that encounter, so. God damn it. Well done. Oh. And with that. I got to use better fall. Wink. It's only a short distance <laughs> to the epitome. <laughs> yeah, you guys move your one last tile. Um, and. I need to. Oh, wait. Where's my music? That's... That's cool. We'll play something different. Let's just play. Whoops. Bit of Final Fantasy. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, you guys arrive at the Spires of Argentelerin. I don't have a picture depicting the wonderful Spires of Argentelerin because I couldn't find a good picture and... I gave up after basically like an hour and a half of looking. So, mm. what you have is a loose map depicting what the place looks like. Oh. There's, oh. there's significant. The all of the spires are significantly taller. Like this, this place is basically built in tiers. Um, there's like a there's like a ground level, and then there's a like maybe one or two spires in most of the major districts that just go up into the air. Um, each one of them having different sort of tiers within it. Um, and like basically as you approach, um, you pass by a number of like smaller, like the traditional elven houses that you're used to seeing. Um, and you basically walk through the... walk towards the, the city walls. Is that, is that a puffer fish above one of the guard towers? I have no idea, it's just a random picture that I found that was loosely what I wanted. Uh, but yeah, no, you guys, you guys basically make it to the city that you've been traveling to all this time. Woo! Woo! We made it. Let's go. Oh, and we're all exhausted. Mm. Uh, basically, like um, the 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 thing you're greeted by as you enter is basically there is a um, uh, you're sort of you're entering from the the north. Northwest in this picture, but it's the south uh, in the actual thing. Um, and basically, there's a there's a a, a massive uh, ornate archway that, um, much like in Storm Siege, there's there's this big uh, sealable gate, but the gate is sort of thrown open. Um, and there, se there seems to basically be a, a it, it, it's evening, and there's there's basically like a filter of people coming out of the city and going into the to the houses that are dotted around the outside. Um, uh, those of you who are particularly paying great amounts of attention, 
will notice that uh, almost everybody leaving the city is a wood elf. Um, uh, yeah, and basically, as as you walk under the uh, or walk towards the arch, there's a um, a couple of city guards with uh, who like they're they're wearing chainmail and holding uh, uh, spears, uh, similar to the to the guards you saw in. Uh, Silverbrook, but much, much better geared. Um, mm. uh, and one, one of them uh, sort of walks towards you and says, um, can I help you? Uh, yes, we are. We are we are here for a multitude of reasons. We have messages and to deliver and such. Um, he he regards you and your group for a few seconds and sort of says, um, <coughs> "Oh, excuse me." Um. Uh, yeah, he he basically says, um, uh, "Do you have um?" Like, uh, uh, who, who's, who's sort of like instructions are you, uh, are you working under? Uh, what, what's your, um, what, what is, what is your business? Where are you, where are your destinations? Well, we picked up a message from uh, Governor of Storm Siege for the government district, and we also need to. Uh, we also need to speak to someone about uh, an artifact uh, an artifact we found in Silverbrook that needs to be dealt with. And and we need a place to stay. He he when you when you mention an artifact in Silverbrook, he looks at you quizzically, uh, pauses for a moment, and then sort of makes a face that is like that's a bit above my pay grade. <laughs> um, and sort of says. Um, well, I don't. Uh, I don't know where you'll you'll find help with your artifact. You um, you're welcome to uh, find a place to stay in the lower district. Um, as for the government district, may I ask where you're delivering? I guess I go. I look at Grim because he's got the fucking letter. Grim can't read the the address. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he's got the fucking letter. He should have. I'll this. I'll I'll show, I'll show it to you. I trust you with this letter. He passes you. The Wow. Okay. Can I? I would like to read it. Uh, yes. Uh, it basically directs you to um, a uh, basically a realm administration building. Um, mm. You have literally no idea where that is, but it says it says block okay. block A realm administration building, and it ha it's of course got a wax seal on the back. Yeah. So you can sort of oh. wave the wax seal around and be like. I yeah, I guess I'll read the address to him. Uh, yeah, he he when he when you read him the address, he sort of nods and he says, "Well, that's uh, I'm afraid that's closed by now. Um, uh, you'll have to try again tomorrow. They open a couple of hours after sunrise, basically." Um, Very well. Sure, it isn't the way we could get it through. It's very urgent. Uh, I'm afraid not, because un unless you know where. The particular official that you need to deliver it to lives, then there's nobody there. That's unfortunate. I'm sure I can wait until tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. you you guys are like pretty tired. Yeah. Like the sun is like already setting. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go find somewhere to rest then. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. He recommends that you uh you head into the lower district and uh. Basically, st stick to the outside and look for a place called the Hole in the Wall. Wow. Uh, why are we going on a game show, exactly? <laughs> I know it's a really fun game show and could be even more fun given the varying heights, but... For and second of all, why does such a game show exist in a fantasy universe? Let's move on. Withering silence. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll, 
Sorry, let's uh, carry on. Yes. Yeah, he recommends you uh, head into the lower district and find a place called the Hole in the Wall. Mm. Well, let's do that. Let's do that then. Okay. Yeah. He Could just sort of watches you leave. Um, and you head down the stairs into the lower district. Uh, so called because it basically sits uh, right at the edge of a, a cliff plateau and you basically have to walk down the cliff to get to it. Uh, do I have any cities? Why do I get the feeling that this is where all the non-elves are living? Um, as you as you wander down... It's elves. As you wander, as you look, as you wander down, roll me perception checks. Mm. Oh my goodness, Laura's nice. I'm apparently, very observant today. <coughs> mm. uh, those of you who are walking down, like as, as you walk down, you notice that you are, you do notice humans. And uh, there's probably there's a like a a handful of gnomes like wandering around in the streets and like you think perhaps maybe you see a tiefling. Um, it do, it does seem to be predominantly non-elves. Um, Claris, you don't see a single elf in sight. Um, nope. And you actually, as you're sort of taking in the scene, you notice a couple of things that I will whisper to you as you travel. Okay. Just, just saying, I called it. Uh, oh, you, yeah. The one of the things you see is, by the way, there, there is a, um, with the wall that runs around the outside, there is basically a building that is built into the wall, and it seems to have like a little, um. Uh, a little overshadowed area, and it's it. You can basically assume from the way it's the only building along the side of the wall that this is the hole in the wall. Mm. So, mm. um, Interesting. Okay. In, in both senses of the word, if you catch my drift. Okay. Uh -oh. I was going to ask, but alright, I got you. I'm really concerned now. Um, yeah, so you guys basically, you, you walk down into the lower district. I presume you head straight for the um, hole in the wall. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's been a long day. Cool. Um, as you... Uh, walk. Um, you notice that, like, you, you ev even amongst the more diverse populations down here, your your party is attracting like a fairly decent amount of attention. Um, uh, a a amongst which, uh, basically, that you you pass a, a a corner where there are a um. There, there are a number of individuals who are dressed in clothing hardly suitable for the current weather, shall we say. Oh no. Well then. Um, who regard several of you with interest. Well then. Moving swiftly on. You guys <laughs> prefer them into the tavern. Yeah. You you guys Actually, quick, quickly for clarification, you said that it was all not yeah, you said it was all non elves, but there are no dragonborns, correct? That I've that we've seen. 
No. Uh, Alright then, fair enough. I feel like- I feel like V wouldn't actually judge prostitutes, cause like, her family <laughs> is yep. basically yeah. like, well, whoever like passes in the grove is just like, hey there. The- the idea of paying for it is entirely alien to you. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that they would ask that. No. Either, would I? No, but the, the the fact that they're basically there in shorts and crop tops, despite the fact that it's bloody freezing, is completely like it. the 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 nuance of it passes completely over your head entirely. <laughs> <laughs> you just think they've made really bad clothing choices for the day. That, or, or like you, they don't feel it. I don't know all that. I mean, the only reason you walk around wearing clothes is because people have told you it's inappropriate not to wear clothes. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, but yeah, no, you you avoid them. They give you some looks. A couple of them wave and giggle. But I wave back. Yeah. Do not, <laughs> do not talk to them, Grim. <laughs> They're waving at me. <laughs> Grim. No, Arya. Look. Arya gives you a look. And you're like, what are you doing? I, 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 I can, I can hold. I will hold up. Don't worry. Oh my wow. god. You better. Well, well, I mean, you're wasting your money. Look here. We We're don't wasting my it. money. No. Guy no. Has no. Spent, you can like, do what you want. Game. You can do what you want. Just leave your valuables somewhere safe. <laughs> just say, just in case. I don't mean well. to be like. But look, it's possible. You're right. Uh-huh. No, I'm, 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 too, I'm for, not interested right now. For the moment, you guys arrive at the hole in the wall. Um, where, basically, it's you notice that it, it seems to be a fairly packed tavern. Um, uh, and basically, from the... There's, there's like a... a chalkboard outside that basically says um, um, uh, it, 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 it's got like a couple of uh, room room spaces scrawled on most of them seem to be sort of like sold out um, but there are that you notice that there are still a few spaces left that you could rent at fairly reasonable prices it's not massively expensive but it's not exactly cheap Well, we definitely need to get more than one room because, you know. Well, we need at least two: one for the shard person, and one for the rest. Mm. If that even fits. I mean, we could split just in half, or not? In, well, not in half, but you know, like there could be two in one and three in the other. For that matter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But at least two rooms is what we'd need, I would assume. Well, basically, we want the, if we can, we want to keep the, like, the shark separated from the rest. Aya, you remember that, like, the last time you were here, you actually, you didn't stay here. You stayed in the Moon District. Um, you don't remember, sort of, how expensive that it was when you stayed there because your room was basically paid for. Um, but you Wait, do. Why was it paid for? Well, because it was presumably when you were much younger. Oh, when I was like little. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you do know that there are other places in the Moon District, but that tends to be. Uh, not not elven exclusive, but it tends to be the sort of places that elves go to avoid places like the lower district. Right. Um. Oh, I guess I guess we'll just make do with the uh, what we what we can get. Yeah. Yep. Um. Uh, how how big would a room be? Um. They're not. Uh, you 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 go into this place and it like the 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 floor of the the place is pretty pretty crammed, um, but you sort of like fight your way over to the bar and there's um, 
there's a very very harassed looking half elf uh, woman basically standing behind the bar. Um, uh, and she is. She's quite possibly the most sort of uh, ethnically mish mis mishmashed person you've ever met. <laughs> because she <clears throat> she has elven features, but she um uh part of her humanoid heritage at some point is very very dark skinned. So she's she's incredibly dark with uh with bizarre elven features but her hair is basically it's it's a complete frizzy fuzzy mess and yeah mm. she yeah she she looks bizarre to almost all of you she is she is an, an ethnic hodgepodge of of cultures um but she yeah she's she's standing behind the bar looking very stressed she sort of says uh, what can I get you? Make it quick. And you're just sort of like, I need rooms. Uh, and she's like, we've basically got three rooms left. Uh, one of them is a bunk room, uh, and the other two are basically uh, slightly smaller. Uh, so you can either kip in the bunk room, or you can rent the other two rooms, which is slightly more expensive, but it will allow you guys to spread out. How how much for the bunk room? Um, the bunk room is basically three gold between you, whereas the, uh, the individual rooms basically run you, uh, uh, for, for one of the rooms, it is one gold per person, and you can fit three people in it, and the other one is two gold per person, and you can fit two people in it. Um, so, <clears throat> we would, we would need at least six gold if you wanted you to have like a separate room for someone yeah. yeah well we should split off yeah it, it would it would run you seven gold to get both rooms we'll split off i'll Wait. pay for the rooms no no but like uh the bunk and uh because the the bunk was free right uh yeah it, 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 it essentially comes to like just over like half a gold between uh, half a gold per Cause... person because I was thinking that we get the bunk room and one of and like the cheapest one of the two other rooms. Yeah, that works. If that would be six. Yeah, it'd be like five and a half. Oh, sure. five and a half, like even. Yeah. Oh, oh, I guess that's not too bad. Just get the two, the two regular ones, and I'll pay for it all. Yeah, but we can't, we can't, and we still have two people sleeping with the crystal. No, because one of them's a two person it's a two a two person room, one's a three person, so And we're with five. Yeah. So two people sleep with the crystal. We've had two people sleeping oh, with the sorry. crystal this I entire thought, fucking meant, way. I thought you meant two well, other people, like including the person holding it. Only because we mean. had to. And also, no one says you have to sleep with the crystal if that's how you feel. No, it's it's not that's that's not the issue. No worry, well we'll do it <clears> like that. It's just I'd just say safe first, but yeah. If you if you want the two person room, that's it's four gold, and then it's half a gold for staying in the bunk room. So that makes four and a half gold, basically. Yeah, or or like seven gold for like the two rooms. Yeah. Up to you guys. The bunk room is like sort of like a communal area, so there will be like other people sleeping there, not just you people. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> hmm, this is what I was thinking. Hmm. We, it, like we may have done the bunk in Silverbrook, but there wasn't this many other people in Silverbrook. Because a brave class might still feed off other people, not just yeah, us. <clears throat> yep. Bad shit. Mm. Yeah. Let's just get the two other rooms, not the bunk room. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that that sets you seven gold. I'll just I'll just pay it so no one else take any off. Um, the other thing you notice is they have no provision to do food here. So if you guys want to like buy food whilst you're here, you're gonna have to eat out. Mm. You can have a night out. <laughs> <laughs> a night out in Argentina. You could. You could. <laughs> a night out in Argentina. 
This could mm. only end badly. Exactly. Let's really not do that. Aww. I mean, oh, you maybe. guys could use some R and R. Yeah. I mean, I guess we might we as well. I mean, you nice can go on and get food, and then come back for the night, at least for tonight, because we are technically right, we'll uh, exhausted, then. aren't we? Yeah. We'll do yeah, that. we're already exhausted. Yes, yeah, so we can go on and get food. You know, leave 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 some stuff here and just come back. Yeah, we'll do that then. Cool, yeah, pay, pay your seven gold, you can, in the town. Anyway. you can leave your excess out <laughs> uh, in like. the rooms. Uh, yeah, so, are you going to sort of, like, ask around as to what there is, or...? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do we want to stay in the lower district, or can do I, can we, we ask, feel like something fine? Can I ask the, um, can I ask the half-elf lady if she knows anyone? Yeah, um... Uh, she basically says, uh, yeah, down here in the lower district, there's basically anything you you could want to get your hands on, you can get your hands on. Play. Um, there's there's drinking, gambling company, uh, there's a couple of food places. Yeah, which, which what, what, what just food place would you recommend? <laughs> Depends what you want. What are the options? Um... Well, I guess we'll just go out and have a look, like, surprise surprise ourselves. What are the options? Well, well uh, there's there's all sorts of things that you can... Depends what kind of cuisine you want. If you want, like, like fast food, there's, like, a halfling wrap place. Uh... Chipotle? <laughs> Oh, I can't God. believe. You joke, but kind of. <laughs> ah! Oh, Damn. wow. God's sake. Oh, I love the tone with which you said that, Luca. <laughs> Dude, so you confused. Don't understand my deep, passionate love for Chipotle. Oh. <laughs> so I guess we're going Chipotle? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sure, why not? D&D Chipotle. Yeah. Nope. I can't Let's do believe. that, then. Let's go. Look, we've had rabbit curry. It's, it's halflings. They might play halfling Chipotle camp. Time. Who knows? Oh, God. Because <laughs> we, all, we all want an excuse to play that again. <laughs> and if you don't, you're weird. Yeah, no, you, um, you guys, you guys head out, you get, you grab your food. It costs you, like, probably costs you, like, five gold. I've seen a lot of you. Um, one, one each. One each then. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it's like it's not the best food you've ever had. Uh, it's, it's fast it's, food. Yeah, it's decent. Like it's. It'll do. It's it's halfling pub grub. It's like greasy as hell. Um. Um. Yeah, like basically, like as as you walk out as well, there's um, you notice there's a place that's like doing like stand up comedy. Um, what? <gasps> oh no! God. There's like there's like a couple of like interesting places that you guys pass by that just like it seem to be full of just people having fun. Oh my god! This is this place is so busy. V has never seen anything like this yeah. You like you your entire life. You've never seen this many people, see, let alone see. this many mu multiple races. V is like she doesn't even know where to look. She's just like. Oh, yeah, and see, then she turns see, around and she's v. like, oh! <laughs> yeah. Seeing V, I'm just going to say, maybe maybe tomorrow. We're you, all a bit tired now. You do notice that there is an absence of Dragonborn, and like you, you, you've you maybe, like, since you got here, you've seen, like, one dwarf. But the no, rest of the races, I mean, there's, quite a, there's quite a couple of people. Is the one dwarf me? <laughs> one other dwarf. <laughs> okay, there we go. He's 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 probably like like in the stand up club like sort of beard deep in a in a mug. Duh. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh. So yeah, let's rest. We can go do our jobs, and then I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, What's happening? <laughs> A uh, one of the uh, one of the groups of uh, of of people that sort of like outside one of these uh, more 
more shuttered up establishments. Um, a there, there's basically a, a human man who's wearing sort of like he's got a, like a a fairly um, a fairly sort of like lavish looking waistcoat. Um, but he's still he's he's wearing like a, a waistcoat and a shirt, but he still manages to look tatty. Mm. Um, and he he basically sees you guys sort of like wandering around and sort of like taking in everything. And he says, um, "Ah, you folks new to town, huh? What the fuck is that accent?" <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, yes, I've never been here before. <sighs> Says I can kind of tell. Uh, you're not looking to make some money, are you? No, thank you. No, no. no. <laughs> Arya's gonna step forward and like drag me back by the. Are you we, sure? We, we I, just... I got clients who'd be interested in a specimen like you. Nope. Yeah, no. Specimen. No. <laughs> we are. We are not interested. <laughs> it's your loss. <laughs> Ari's just gonna glare at him. <laughs> Same. Get away, get away yeah, from the hot Hey, what do you do? It's the guy trying to make business. Oh my god. I'm just gonna be like, I don't understand. <laughs> Flores will probably step up and be like, we'd prefer if you take your business elsewhere. Oh, okay. Make me an intimidate. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Fuck yeah. See, I mean, Jayla, this is the thing where you don't mean to sound intimidating and then it's just like, make me an intimidating check and you're just like, wow. It's yeah. because, I mean, yeah, you are a, you are a massive, Aww. super strong dragonborn in full armor. He's like, okay, okay, jeez, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Poor V has no idea what, this, what just happened. Nope. nope. <laughs> we all know, we all do. V has no idea. Yeah, you guys, you guys make it back to the hole in the wall, like otherwise unassailed. After that, right, who's um, right? Who's sleeping with the crystal? Uh, me, presumably. Mm. Oh, sleeping with the crystal. Kind of, I don't know. Uh, one one thing that you guys do pass on your way back that piques your curiosity is a closed up shop with a. Uh, a sign that advertises it as the Gilded Lion Pawn Shop. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> not that kind of pawn. No. I assume. Pawn, not porn. As, as in, uh, sell, porn. Porn. sell your porn. shit. Uh, as in, oh. sell your random crap. Uh, oh, we should perhaps have a look at it. Given how much random crap we have. The thing, well, we might as well see what they offer. Yeah, I have random crap. Because we have a ton of stuff, and um, it's going to be hard to find a, someone to actually buy it. Yeah. Okay. So you but, guys, you guys go, you go to bed, you sleep. People who need to roll wisdom yeah, saves. Yeah. People, people who make wisdom saves make wisdom saves. I guess that's. Wait. So. Arya's holding the crystal, but there's also someone in the room with her, isn't there? Yes. Yeah, I, I, I stayed oh, together. Okay. Yeah, Grim and I are in there. We're, we're in the other room. So, oh, whoever's right. holding it, wisdom saving throw. Whoever's not holding it, wisdom saving throw with advantage. Good. Uh, well done. Oh. Well, that happened. Okay. So... Grim... Basically, hold on, let's change the music. It's far too happy. <laughs> far too happy for what's Wait, just happened. Far, we... far too exciting. Who did we decide on what's holding it? Oh, oh Arya's holding it. Yeah, yeah that's hold... how it was working. Okay. Yeah. Um, in that case, then, this music is not playing for me again. What the fuck? It's, it's playing for us. Yeah. Okay, right. Well, People in the VOD will just have to pretend, unfortunately. Um, because this is big <laughs> shit. Uh, yeah, basically... Um... Aya, again... You're... You're constantly plagued by this sensation that someone is watching you. Um... And basically, like, this this place is, like, full of people, and it doesn't get... It doesn't get quiet until, like, at least, sort of, like, midnight. One in the morning. 
Um, and like basically, like ev every every creaking floorboard and sort of unusual noise that you're not used to sort of like starts you out of your meditation. Um, and you're like th this is like just driving you mad by this point. Um, and basically, like half halfway through your interrupted meditation, um. Uh, you notice that that Grim wakes up in the bed opposite you, uh, like basically with a start. I mean, Grim, you've been you've been having this this bizarre, like almost like an out of body experience, as if yeah. as if somebody was watching you through the window of the building you're in and just like looking at the two of you. Mm. Mm. I will keep this. To myself. Okay. You still wake with a start, and ah, oh, you notice it. No. Wait, is it already morning, or she's just? It's still... no. It's the middle of the night. Middle of the night. <laughs> okay. Um. No, if I might go walk over and have a look at the crystal. <clears throat> I mean, I just like still yeah. like sort of. Got it in her backpack, I think. Like next to yeah. her. <clears throat> and if you start going through my stuff, I will react. So. Wait, you have it in your backpack? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, in the box, uh, in the backpack. On her person. Oh. Yeah, okay, I just didn't expect her to put it in her backpack as well. It's oh, not like she's going to sleep holding it. Yeah. If this is what you've been doing at this point, then you're doing something wrong. <laughs> no, I was more thinking as in, like, we keep the box, like, next to the bed or something, you know? Like that. Like that. I mean, it's in my backpack next to the fine. bed. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Um, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to... I'm not thinking that much. I'm... I'm more concerned about the, the peering eyes, or the feeling of the eyes watching me. So I'm just gonna f like feel the out outside of the bag, like feel if it's in there, and then if I feel it, I will try and carefully open it. And what See do you think I... you're doing? Look, and I'm gonna try and do it in such a way that you don't notice. She's perfectly I mean, aware. I yeah, she's perfectly conscious. <laughs> Um, uh, well, she still said it, just I just, I just feel like we need to check on the crystal. I just have, I just have this weird feeling. Just trust take, me on this one. No, taking it out of the box, <laughs> taking it out of the box is not a good idea. The box isn't doing anything anymore. I mean, it's, it's doing more than if it was just sitting out in the world. Look, I will put it back in. Just give me. What, just give me one minute. At this point, Arya's gonna stand up and be like, no, I'm not allowing you to open that box. <sighs> okay, hey, may I ask you, what is, like, the crystal, its powers are the same inside or outside the box right now? What no, is they're the not. worst? <laughs> like, the ward has worn off. Yes, but the magical properties of the box still protect it somewhat. It's a silver, uh, it's so yeah, sure the, the it's um, magical wood. To to it's... correct you, it's not so much the magical effects of the box that are preventing it. It's the fact that it's wrapped up in a cloth inside a box, meaning it can't be looked through directly. That's ah. Uh, yeah. So Grim is actually right, but if you looked at it, fuck well, you. I mean Grim is is right, but also <laughs> no. <laughs> hmm. I'll just continue. I'll just continue like grabbing, or I'll just start grabbing it out of the oh backpack. No. I will reach down and grab him by the scruff of his shirt and pick him up <laughs> and say no. <laughs> oh shit! Can, can you even pick me up? <laughs> Is that a strength check? <laughs> I, no, it's not a strength check coming on. Oh. Uh... Okay. Two, two of you make me. Singer, sing as I as attempt, I uh, make me a athletics as if you were grappling, and Grim make me a dexterity oh, no. as if you were resisting. Uh, that's... I don't think you need to. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh shit! You just Tried slippery Aya. bastard. Okay. Love me, 
Grim, okay. you you slip under Aya's sort of grabbing arm, pull the box out. Aya, you see, you frustrated at him doing this, you bat the box out of his hand, and as you do so, it springs open and the oh, crystal no. falls out. God's sake. Oh, good job. Good job, Arya. That was... Please, don't act like this is my fault. Says the person that threw the box on the floor. You well, were the one who was trying to get it out in the first place! Well, never mind. I, uh, I'll grab... Well, Grim, you got what you wanted! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I, I, def I did, but look. I'm not, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> um, I'll grab the crystal. And I'll, I'll like, quickly... Like scan around, like see if I. Can I try to stop like, him. Well, I, like I'm just gonna. I just want to see the window because, like, there is a window in the room, right? Yeah. Oh my god. So this I'll is just pick it up, look, look idea. into it in the direction of the window, and then wrap it in the cloth as if I'm just checking if it's in one piece. Roll me sleight of hand. <sighs> God's sake. Disaster, children. <laughs> okay, oh, you. Oh. You fairly surreptitiously sort of like pick it up, and you're you like you make a big show of like, look, I'm putting it away, but you sort of like you you still look through it. You don't see anything, but you're you're also aware that where you are, there's there's no building. Yeah. Uh, you you don't really get any more of a of a thing that other than like you're. It's sort of weird because you're you're floating in the air, like when you like like there's there's no there's no floor as you look down at the floor, and as you sort of like lift it up, there's there's no wall, no bed, or anything. You catch like a glimpse of like a there are buildings on the horizon, but if if there's uh where wherever this is in the in the Shadowfell, there's no building where you're standing currently. Okay. Oh, I just wrap it up and put it away. Don't pull something like that again. I don't care what your reasons are for wanting to look at the crystal. That thing is dangerous. It is. And that's why we need to check on it. No, we don't! We need to find someone to destroy it. That's all it's good for. Until then, we need to make sure everything is alright. But now that this matter has been resolved, let's... Let's go back to sleep. I'll just jump in the bed. Or into yeah. bed and um Okay. Yeah. Two of you two that? of you make me wisdom saving throws again. God damn. Oh my god. Oh, I hate you, Grim. <laughs> All of a sudden I really regret making them share the room. Okay. Hmm. The the two of you basically you you turn and you go to sleep and it's sort of like the the having the tempers raised and yelling at each other you you struggle to go back to sleep and when you do go back to sleep it's just sort of the the sensation of being watched is still there but it's it's more of a minor irritation you're still just sort of like pissed off at having argued with each other <laughs> um but nothing else happens uh, and in the morning you wake up Meanwhile, we had a perfect night's sleep. Ah, oh, it was beautiful. <laughs> it was heavenly. None of us woke up in the middle of the night and argued Let's with each other. something else. It's great. <laughs> Let's play. one for now, because I guarantee it's not going to work my end anyway. No, it really isn't. Great. Oh, it isn't. Oh, oh no, it is working. Oh, working our side. It's, it's really strange that it isn't working for me. Oh, weird. Right, anyway. Uh, I'll just carry on. Again. So, the rest of you, uh, you basically wake up 
at a decent time. Those of you who were up last night, you sort of you wake up like a little bit later than you would normally. Um, well, I say that like Aya, you're already sort of awake, but you're just sort of mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm just gonna stay here because I can't be fucking bothered to deal with anything. Um, Doesn't Aya do that all the time? Aya's had a very mm -hmm. difficult day. You've you've had a very stressful couple of days. Could really use some R and R right now, but yeah, you guys, yeah. you guys wake up sort of like it's, it's a little bit after sort of sunrise, uh, and yeah, you sort of, you guys meet downstairs. Like that, that again. There's no, there's no sort of like place to get food here. So if you want to eat, you'll have to sort of like eat out again. Do they look like tired or pissed off at each other? <laughs> oh, Arya definitely looks pissed off at him, a hundred percent. God. I, I just rem remain slightly neutral. Slightly neutral, only slightly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I'll, I'll do like this thing of like not sitting next to her and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you're passive. You're passive aggressive. Are you is active aggressive? Give, give yeah. me, give me insight against like a a, a base <laughs> score, I guess. Oh, can we all roll? Yeah. Oh yeah. God! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! We got a boom. Oh shit! Wow. That's like actually that's that's enough for like all of you to sort of be like okay they 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 like clearly come downstairs sort of like looking like they haven't slept properly and like there there's a little moment like on the stairs where sort of like they both get to the sort of the top of the stairs and Aya's just like Aya just sort of like barges in front of him and Grim's just like. Mm. Of shrugs and like the there's way. there's quite there's quite clearly something going on. Vondal, like you're you're pretty sure like neither of them have slept and they look like they've had a row about something. Mm. Well, looks like then what we should do get our current issues sorted out. The rest of you look like you need just a break. However, when I say the rest of you, I specifically look at those two. Yeah. I wish there was... Is there, like, a, a middle finger in this world? <laughs> yeah, it's called the middle finger. Yeah. yeah, I just do that to you. Wow, to me? <laughs> yeah. You bite your thumb wow. at him. I bite my thumb at him. Damn. Do I know what the I... middle finger means? <laughs> <laughs> Roll me an insight check. <laughs> Oh my I, god, I failed yeah. this. I'm just gonna say, well, actually, no, it seems um, I is totally you, fine. You don't know what the gesture means, but the intent is obvious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm just gonna say, well, actually, no, I is perfectly normal. <laughs> I is just gonna, like, she's just so done with this, and she's just gonna, like, walk out and be like, I'm going to go get food if you guys want to follow. Okay. I'll follow. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna fall in step with Grim. Okay. Um, As we walk well, out, or are I, you gonna just fucking walk off? No, no, I will. I'll follow. I'll just be slightly further behind than usual. Yeah, so I'll I'll walk next to Grim. I want because I think I'm gonna get more out of Grim than Arya. <laughs> <laughs> if I want to know what happens. Is it like, can here. I try? Okay, can I try and catch up to Arya? Just be like, look, we all we all clearly need it. It's been. A rough, long journey. Let's just get this sorted, and we can all just iron out any problems before we move on. Well, you need to talk to him because he thinks seems to think that opening up the box with the crystal in it is a great idea. <clears throat> in the middle of the um, night. In the middle of the night. Yeah, I, I suppose I'm sort of walking with these two as well, so I'm yeah. going to be like, "Ooh, that's bad." <laughs> 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 what happened? Did anything go wrong? Not as far as I can tell, but it's not a good idea, in any respect. Well, you have I, no I... idea what that shard can do. So, yeah. well, well, it's not an excellent idea. Is it really worth getting this riled up about? Yes, it is. Well, what I if think... something had happened? I mean, that's a very broad sort of spectrum, like, based on what has happened in the past, nothing too dramatic would have happened. 
Arya just glares at him. <laughs> Perhaps you've been lucky to escape what that thing can do so far, but I felt its effects. We all felt its effect just to some extent. You've been carrying it a lot, Arya. Maybe we should leave it to some it's other all... people next night. <laughs> this is like the Horcrux well, in the seventh okay. Harry Potter book. All we're, not, just... we're not going to have to... Well, with any luck, we won't have to deal with it tonight. Because we're going to get rid of it. And it gives us plenty of opportunity to relax. And Evidently, we all need to talk about this. Are you guys all sort of like walking in the same direction? Or are you like sort of going off in in your own sort of directions? Because... I mean, like, you guys are in a city, you can sort of, like, wander off and just agree to meet up again later. I'm yeah, just working well, with Ayo at the moment. Since we re haven't really agreed to anything, I think I'll just, like, I'm just, like, tailing, well, together with Kolaris then. Yeah. Like, just, uh, just so I know where they are, because I don't, because I feel like otherwise we might lose each other. Okay, so you guys, you guys can have your conversation simultaneously then. Oh yeah, I mean, basically she'd st um, fall in step behind me, kind of be step in step next to me, kind of be like something happened. Ah, uh, it's just a crystal. It's just well, it was a troublesome night for both of us. Did it? What I I would not know. Did you have mm, another nightmare? Well, it wasn't as bad, but something gave me the feeling that Box might not have been entirely secure. So I kind of wanted to, to have a look, but uh, Arya didn't agree we should look at the box, the box or the crystal at all. And mm. well, I may or may not have kind of forced it. And then she may have hit the box on the floor. Which kind of escalated things. Well, I don't agree with necessarily opening the box to look at it. If you were afraid that it was um, not secure, I don't think that it was necessary to have it knocked around or to have an argument. Well, not, see, I, I'm not saying that. Go on. I wasn't planning on knocking it on the floor or throwing the crystal out. I just, I'm not, I just I'm not to saying check that. On it. And to be fair, it's like a reasonable request. I'm, I should maybe have asked before I tried, but she didn't really seem uh, that open minded. Well, I don't necessarily think there's a blame to be pointed either way. I think what happened happened, but it, it might be something worth talking to her about later after she's had some time to. Um, cool down, I guess. A bit more. Is she ever cooled down? Oh, I don't know about her, but that was ice cold. Yeah. It's ice cold, but he has a point. I shrug. Very non committal because I don't want to get I don't want to be like <laughs> yes or no to that, because I'm just like This look. is not my fight. <laughs> look here. I like I'm on okay terms with Arya actually. Like Arya and I are actually alright. Yeah, we're so. like chill. Yeah, like we're 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 chill. So I'm not like I'm not agreeing, but I'm not disagreeing. I'm just kinda like, that's your opinion, mate. <laughs> that's <laughs> just exactly. like your opinion, dude. Well Arya and me were alright before this. <laughs> now we're <laughs> are not. Are you saying that to Kalaris or are you just saying that? Uh no. Okay. I'm not saying that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So just... you guys have your conversations, you wander around you wander sort of like just in a general direction and you basically like end up in the market district. Um, and basically the, the way the market district is laid out is kind of fascinating really. It's, it's almost like a, 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 a huge forum with, so, with a whole bunch of different multiple, uh, multiple tiers leading down towards the, the center of this large circle and like on basically each uh each tier there's basically like um almost like uh small 
small buildings, not not big enough to sort of be houses or businesses, but every single one of them seems to sort of house a stall or a marketplace of some kind. Um, and it basically has the effect that if you stand at the top of the the forum, you can see all the way down to the centre, and you can see almost every market stall from where you're standing. Um, and there's like there's a whole bunch of of places selling food, and it it they're basically it's anything you could possibly want to buy. You reckon you could buy here to a certain extent. Mm. Um, there's like there's uh, there's places selling like carpets. There's places selling weapons. There's places selling clothing. So many different stands. And basically, smack bang at the centre is something that attracts your attention in particular, V. Which is the thing that has pride of place right in the centre of a massively ornate uh, like raised platform area is a brilliant white tree. Uh, and unlike in this picture, it doesn't it's not devoid of leaves. It basically has um, uh, leaves of almost like platinum. If you've uh, if you if you've ever seen like uh, particularly like polished platinum, it seems to almost glimmer with like a rainbow. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it, it is it is basically a white tree with platinum leaves, essentially. I'm just gonna fucking leg it towards the tree. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm like going through the market district. V is basically like bounding around and just like looking at everything, and then she sees the tree and she's just like, "I gotta." Yeah. I'm gonna try try my best to follow her through the crowd. Okay. Yeah, I guess I follow them. This is this is ordinarily where I'd have you make streetwise checks, but streetwise has isn't a stat anymore. <laughs> I don't know what to make you. Um. I, I, I guess make me athletics checks as you pursue her, and V make me some make me one to see like how how if you overtake them or anything. My athletics is that great. Nope. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So basically, as as you follow V, uh, V, you sort of like you keep like sort of like bumbling into people, and you're like, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, you you make it down to the tree with sort of like Vondal, Vondal, and I are in pursuit. Um, and basically, like this this platform where the where the tree is sort of raised. Um, there's um, there's basically like a, a, a series of tiles that runs around the outside that has it's got like uh, it's got pictograms and it's got script in elvish and it's got script in sylvan 